Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Bree, and I am from Arkansas. I do lifestyle type videos, like um, about weight loss, um, cleaning, and just stay in the lives. Um, and then I also figured that today I would show you uh, where I de decluttered and I organized and then I redecorated my guest bathroom. So for those of you who don't know, Alex and I live in a duplex and um, we rent here so we don't get to pick paint colors or anything like that. Everything has to be temporary uh, so that when we move out, somebody new can move in fairly quick. And so um, I basically get to decorate right now just using, um, you know, items and um, things like that. I don't get to, like I said, I don't get to paint or do anything even semi-permanent. <laughs> I haven't been a huge fan of this bathroom since we first moved in, uh, mainly because it, to me, looked more like a college dorm bathroom, and rightfully so. I mean, we spent like $15 on the original shower curtain that was in there um, and just got a shower curtain rod and some cheap rings just so we could have something in there um, when we first moved in, and we had moved in about a year ago, um, actually a year ago this month. So. We went ahead and was just going to basically make this our own for now. Um, Alex and I are hopefully going to be making big steps of getting out of this duplex this year. But uh, we don't know how or when that's going to happen. And so I told him, I said, I think I'm going to go room by room um, and just start making things ours so that when we do get a home or so that when we do get out of this place, we can just pack up what we have and set it up in the new place. And then if it is a home where we can paint, all I would have to do is paint and put up our things. And it won't be as stressful as me buying a home or getting a new place and thinking I need to go out just so I can get everything today and redecorate. I can work, it, work on it one room at a time. So far what you're seeing is just me going through and I like took down the shower curtain and the shower curtain rod and then I dusted in top on top of um, like the shower panels on the outside um, and sprayed it down with the Jaws daily shower cleaner uh, or it's not a daily shower it's just a regular shower cleaner but I spray it on after one of us showers because then it um, helps to keep the buildup of uh, like the mildew and everything down um, or any kind of grime or anything like that it keeps it down um, but then I went through and threw away all the other soaps and stuff that we haven't been using I threw away um, anything that we just that's that bathroom has kind of become a catch-all so um, if we travel there's like travel size soaps in there and stuff like that so I went ahead and threw all of that away if it was empty close to empty um, or something that we wouldn't use and then I went through underneath the cabinet and went through and cleaned down there and cleaned out the cabinet and dusted and then I worked on um, the little closet that we have in here and it's actually a pretty decent sized closet but over the last year I have just thrown things in there like hair color from back when I used to do hair um, and I still do my own hair but I um, I don't do I don't do hair anymore I sell insurance so <laughs> I uh, went ahead and took all of that out threw it away because it was mostly old anyway swept at the bottom and then uh, refolded our towels to make sure that they looked a little nicer in there
I worked on cleaning off my counter and then um, trying to put things away. That way it made it easier to put away later, like officially away into the cabinet. Um, so in other words, I put my makeup in my little makeup bag and then um, I actually was making a pile on the floor. I saw you or I showed you guys the little beginning of it um, just a few seconds ago, but you'll see that it gets bigger once I start cleaning off this cabinet. Um, and then what I did was once I got all that done, I just sat on the floor and went through everything. Now, if I hadn't used it, hadn't thought about it in the last, I don't know how many months, which most of it was that way, um, I went ahead and threw it away, especially like makeup because they all have shelf life on them and you don't want to be using makeup after it's shelf life. It's not good for you. It could cause breakouts and, um, that's the cosmetologist in me coming out. You just, you just don't do that. You need to throw it away after so long, especially if you're not going to use it. It's just holding up space. Uh, but not only that, but it, it, it can't be good for your face as well. So while the floor was drying, I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. Um, everything you see here is from Target, um, and I believe it was all under $120 once it was all said and done. Um, I got this basket and this tote that I'm going to be using under the cabinet, um, and then I've got this soap dispenser um, that I will actually end up putting my Mrs. Meyer soap in. Um, I got some shower rings, and I don't know why my camera wasn't focusing, but um, it's just just some plain black or bronze or the dark color shower rings um i got a candle just to set the mood it, it to me it always makes it better when you you know redo a room that you light a candle at the end um, i got a little sign that i'm gonna end up putting up with a funny saying this is our shower curtain and i love it i was so excited that i found it at target um i got some a rug and a decorative towel and another hand towel just to kind of match the shower curtain um, and like I said it was all I think under $120 all together um, and I will uh, I'll link everything down below that I use um, I'll try to find it like on Target online <music> So this is under the cabinet in the bathroom and uh, this is where I will store most of the stuff that I would use more often. So like my hair products, uh, my makeup, and then you'll see I put some baby shampoo or baby soap. And um, also later on, I think I put it in there, it was a bottle of Dawn dish soap. And that's what we use sometimes on Archer when he needs a bath, um, depending on... Um, how dirty he is, it'll depend on which soap we use.
was really when I got to start the fun part. Uh, just, you know, starting to decorate and put up the towels and the sign and the rug on the floor. And then later on, I'll put up the shower curtain. Once you see everything come together, it makes the hard part at the beginning when you were doing the decluttering and the deorg or the deorganizing. And when I was doing the organizing, you know, that's the hard part. It's not so fun. But once it's done, it's done. And it makes it a little less stressful in there. And then on top of that, you get to add on, add in all these new decorations. Even Alex was said that this this room just made made it feel more homey in there and more that you know you feel like it's just cozy, I guess. The shower curtain was kind of the finishing touch for me. Um, I did speed it up a little faster because me and those rings were fighting, trying to get them out of the box, and then I had to go through and put them on each hole. But um, once you put everything together, like I was saying earlier, it's just, it it makes you happy, honestly. Um, I feel a lot better about this room already. And it's just our guest bathroom. <laughs> so it, it's pretty nice knowing that it feels a little more homey and welcoming and so if we do were if we if we do were if we were to have guests you know that they would feel you know a lot better in there and it wouldn't feel as much like that college dorm bathroom uh, but guys um here in a minute you're gonna see the the finishing touches the last little bit um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs up if, um, you know, this is something that you'd like to see more of in the future, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, I, like I said, I plan on going room to room, so I don't see why I shouldn't video the whole time I'm doing it, um, just so I can share with you guys and then hopefully one day I will be able to take you to my home that I buy and, uh, where we take everything that we have here and move it in there and make that our home. But, um, guys, if you haven't already, like I said before, drop a like, drop a comment, and then hit that subscribe button so you can see more uh, when I do upload. But uh, I want to say thanks for watching my video, and I hope that you guys have a good week. See ya.